I just want to know one thing. What in the hell has happened to can openers? I've gone through about three or four can openers in the last 10 years. They've all been manual, but they've been the kind that open up on the side. The regular kind that open up from here. The ones that cost $25, the ones that cost $12, the ones made in USA, the ones made in Japan, which is nearly all of them. And they all pretty much crap out after a while. The, the ones that cut on the side, they end up making little shavings of metal to go down in the food. The ones that open up regular, the wheel will stop gripping so they won't turn around on the can. Or they'll skip, they'll cut a little bit, then they'll pause and skip and pause. And then you start going around and around. And I don't care if they rust on me or, or if the plastic breaks, you know, if it's made like crap. But so long as it opens the can, I don't care. I had to open up a can of clams with a knife. This is not conducive <laughs> to non-visits to the hospital. <coughs> so, I, I won't tell you how many hours, how many hours I have been reviewing can openers on Amazon and different places. I almost bought one of those old-fashioned daisy crank ones that uh, you, you screw into the wall and they fold open. As a kid, I can't ever remember hours ever breaking down. And they seem like they last forever. Of course, as a kid, I never paid for a can opener if it broke. So I don't know if they really did last for 20 years. But it seems like they did. I almost found one new in the box for like $30 on Amazon. A vintage can opener from 1950. Made in USA. <clears throat> I think it was Missouri. So I bought this. I said, you know what? I'm going back to basics. Got the old-fashioned... If you were like in the 1920s, <laughs> this is what you used. Of course, it wasn't made in China back in the 1920s, but there's no little wheels to turn. There's nothing to grip. There's no magnets. Hopefully. Also, I should be able... Well, maybe not. I was thinking it was far enough I could take a file and, and, and sharpen it when it got dull. But I don't think that's true. You know, somebody out there could make some money if they actually made a can opener that was was good and lasted a long time. You don't mind spending $30 on a can opener if it's going to last for 20 years. Ow. <laughs> well, now let's see how it opens. It's going to take a little longer than an electric can opener or the crank daisy, but there's not much to go wrong with it. It's not going to spill off little pieces of metal into the food. I just want to know what the hell happened. Why can't they make stuff that lasts for a long time? There ought to be some way. I can sharpen that if it gets dull with a Dremel or something. Too bad this wasn't bolts you could take off and sharpen that sucker up. But for three dollars, you know, you can't expect too much. I did read the reviews. Imagine spending time to read and reviews over a three dollar can opener. That's what you do nowadays, I guess, under COVID. Some people said this thing was bended on them. I don't want to drink the wine that the cork broke or bent the, the, the cork through on that sucker. But there you go. An old-fashioned, hundred-year-old design can opener. Uh, I think I ought to be able to sharpen it if it gets dull. But that's the, the can opener situation we are in 2021. We're left with buying stuff from 100 years ago because the stuff they're making nowadays, it craps out on you in a few years. I bought two of those ones that go on the side so you don't have sharp edges, and the darn things broke down within a year. So, like, I gave up. Going back to retro. <laughs> this is something, oh, Popeye cartoons you would have seen them using in <laughs> olive oil <laughs> and Brutus and that, yeah. So that's the situation we're at, guys. Um, be careful. <laughs>
All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the uh, the video. Oh, by the way, these peaches are from South Africa at the dollar store. They're not too bad. All right. I'll leave a link for this can opener. No, I'm not. The heck with it. <laughs> You're on your own. <laughs> Good luck to you all. Take care. See you out there.